Today we'll be talking about the composition of blood. Now you can see this easiest when you take a tube of blood and centrifuge it down. When you centrifuge it, three distinct layers will appear. At the very top, you'll have a layer called plasma. Now plasma is made mostly of water, about 92% of plasma is just water. Plasma also has lots of nutrients though. This is where um, amino acids, proteins, lipids, glucose will be carried in the blood. And it also contains some very important proteins such as albumin, globulin, and fibrinogen. This next really tiny layer is called the Buffy coat. Now the Buffy coat, though tiny, it contains some very important factors like white blood cells and platelets. Now white blood cells help with your immune response. These include cells such as neutrophils, basophils, monocytes, lymphocytes. All of those are white blood cells that will help with inflammation and immunity. The Buffy coat also contains platelets which are also called thrombocytes, and these help with clot formation. The bottom layer here is the portion that contains the red blood cells. This is also referred to as the hematocrit. This bottom layer has red blood cells, and hematocrit describes the um, percent of the total blood volume that is just red blood cells. Now in males, a healthy hematocrit or percent red blood cells would be 40 to 54 percent of their blood be erythrocytes. Females have a slightly different healthy range. It's a little bit lower than males and a healthy range of hematocrit for females is 37 to 47 percent. And together these make up your blood.